This is the fourth fucking time I'm trying to record this video. Okay. Have you ever wanted to do something, but not just anything, something that you really love? You're really passionate about this thing and you really want to do it. You've spent so much time watching other people do it. You know, it can be playing the piano, knitting, crocheting, I don't know, baking a cake or drawing or whatever, writing. It can be anything. It's just something that you're passionate about. You love it and you look at other creators, other people who are skilled at this thing do it. And you want to do it. You want to be a master at it. You want to create that thing. You don't just want to look at other people do it. You want to do it. But then you don't. Why? Why is that? You know, sometimes you're so passionate about something that you end up failing it by loving it too much. I'm pretty sure you've seen that graph of the way you develop a taste and the way you develop a skill. And sometimes, a lot of times actually, when you start doing something, when you start practicing, your skill doesn't match up with your taste. So you know what a great thing I don't know, you know what a great hand looks like, but you can't draw it. You know what a great cake tastes like, but you can't bake it. And then every time you try, you see that you're not good enough. Your skill doesn't match up with your taste. And you just care about this thing so much that making something bad in it, making a bad quality thing of it just feels like the unholiest and greatest sin that you could ever commit. How dare you draw a bad hand? And you know, I guess in the case of something like a hand, it doesn't bother you as much. You can always try again. But if it's like a cake, you didn't just bake a bad cake. You also wasted all those eggs. And when you do that, you just feel so terrible. You care so much about whatever your passion is. You grow into a perfectionist mindset towards it. And then that perfectionism stops you from working on it because you're not skilled enough. No matter how much you love Taylor Swift and how much you love drawing, how much passion you have for both Taylor Swift and drawing, if you've never drawn before and then you start trying to draw Taylor Swift, you're probably not gonna make a very good fan art of her. Your first try is not going to turn out to be a masterpiece because you just don't have the skills necessary to do it. But then you're in a perfectionist mindset towards this thing. So that perfectionism turns your passion into anxiety and you end up feeling like you just shouldn't do it. You fail to build up the skills that could help you actually create something good because you were too afraid of creating something bad in the first place. You know, that's inevitable. You can't just create a masterpiece. You might somehow catch the lightning in a bottle once in your life or twice or maybe even thrice if you're really lucky. But you only got there by luck, by chance. You didn't get there by skill. It just happened that once the lines alive and what you drew just kind of sort of looked like Taylor Swift and then you just fail to put in the work but you know that's not the only reason why you don't do what you want to do like it's not just because of perfectionism like a lot of us are okay with creating something bad yeah okay I know I'm aware everybody keeps telling me this the first try is not gonna turn out great neither will the second or the third or the fifth maybe the 20th try is gonna turn out good but I don't fucking know maybe I need to try a hundred times before I make something remotely acceptable but I still don't do it the problem is on the perfectionism um what is it? Part two, you are too fucking old. Unfortunately for me, I'm slowly reaching the cursed age of 21. And you know, it's that part of your life when uh, slowly you're not mature for your age. You're just mature. And you're not that kid that has a lot of potential. You're the person who should really use all that potential they got or else they're gonna waste it and become a burnout. You know, you're no longer the gifted kid. You're just the burnt out kid who didn't learn how to study and actually learn stuff because they were just gifted and didn't need to. And now you're, you're like, what the fuck? am I supposed to do in my fucking life? Am I supposed to actually try for things? And you know, here's the shitty thing about being in your 20s, even your early 20s. Until a couple of years ago, none of your friends around you really had any fucking idea what the hell was going on. Nobody had a clue. And you were fine, you know, you were fine because other successful people were all older than you. Feel like you have so much time to do these things and it's okay if you didn't start today or tomorrow or this month or even this year because, you know, you're still young and you have so much time and you can do it later. But then 
you turned 20 and then one day you're watching Mia Cole and realize that oh shit she was born in 2004 which means she's two years younger than me the fucking audacity of someone to be younger than me how dare you and then you look around yourself and you realize that all of your friends who didn't know what the fuck they were doing a couple years ago now are doing something some of them are doing the thing that you were really passionate about but here's the thing none of them were as passionate as you you wanted this so bad you loved this so much all your life you just dreamed of doing this but you're not doing it and they are and they didn't want it as bad as you did they just one day thought hey this is fun i'm gonna try it and they did and they were really good at it or maybe they weren't you know at first they sucked and you kind of laughed at them but now you look at it and it's like then they actually are like getting somewhere with this you might think that i'm projecting i am i will gaslight you into believing that my problems are actually your problems as well so you know you can't not compare yourself with others you were all at kind of the same starting point and now they're getting somewhere and you're not and then you just have this existential crisis and dread that oh shit f fuck's going on you know as our lord and savior taylor swift once said You're the stranger here, except I'm not pouring my heart out, and I'm also not drunk. I, I don't know, is that is that what wasted means? Is that what wasted is supposed to have, like, a double meaning or something? I don't fucking know, I don't drink. You know, you keep thinking about how, hey, I could have started doing this four years ago, and that would have made me feel so much better. I would be in the place I always dreamt of being in right now. If I only started four years ago, I wasted so much time. And then you keep thinking about it. You keep thinking about the unforeseeable future. And you're like, if I started four years ago, I don't know, let's say if it's something like university, if I started four years ago, I would be getting my bachelor's. In two years, I would get my master's degree and then I could have a job and I could like get better and like get a promotion and then go start working on this thing and that thing and be in the place I want to be job wise but then now I'm gonna only have my bachelor's degree in four years which not good that's so late but it's not like you can reverse time so you're like okay you know what I've wasted so much time but I'm gonna start now because at least this way maybe it's not gonna be as terrible maybe at least this way I'm not gonna waste more time at least in four years I'm not gonna be in this place in four years I'm not gonna think oh my god I wasted eight years now and I could have been in a better place then I'm not gonna be upset like I am right now part three when you try to do something and then you fucking fail and there's this point where you come to terms with the thing and come to terms with wasting so much time and you come to terms with all of your friends being better than you and you come to terms with the fact that hey okay I get it I'm not gonna be great when I first start it's gonna suck when I'm just starting out that's okay I'm gonna just try and do it and then you try and do it and then you fucking fail it's like everything is fucking against you you know you finally sit your ass down to record a youtube video and you do it three times and every time there's a fucking problem and the audio is not recorded at all for fuck's sake you know how many times i've tried to do this the older you get the more things are against you the harder it gets to actually do the thing you want to do and work towards your passion first there was no problem really it was just a problem that you weren't as good then there's a problem that oh i wasted a lot of time then uh the shit doesn't work out and then oh but i actually have to work but oh i am actually having problems with my marriage oh but i have to raise my child oh but i have to raise my second child and all you wanted to do all this long was just learn to play still dre on piano but you didn't do it and then someday you're like yeah i'm gonna try to actually do this today but then you get into a terrible car crash and then you lose one of your hands and then you're depressed because of that and you don't learn it a couple months later you lose the other hand and you're like okay fuck it i can never learn this now after a couple of years you're like okay i'm gonna learn to play this with my feet and then you get in a car crash and you lose both of your feet and then your wife leaves you and then you're a single parent with no hands and no feet you know and then it just gets more and more impossible what am I even saying? <laughs> okay, but I know everyone who's good at it says that you need to just start doing it, but it's not as easy. I mean, it is 
that simple, but doing that is not easy. It's not easy to not care about things. It's not easy to not think, hey, everyone around me is already succeeding at this thing and I haven't and I just don't feel good doing it because it makes me feel like I'm a copycat or something or it just makes me feel lame or it makes me feel inferior and I don't want to do it. After some time when you just keep not doing something, it starts to feel like, hey, maybe I'm better as just a consumer. It's better if I just say, oh yeah, I wanted to do that thing, but I didn't. And now I, you just consume it and you love it from afar. Sometimes that just feels simpler. And sometimes you find happiness in that. The creative process, not necessarily like creative, but you know, the process of creating something is a lot longer than you expect. Like, I love animation. I love the process of creating an animated movie. But there are so many things about it that I did not know. You love watching animation, you love good art, you love looking at it and seeing the passion that was put into it, the work, the details, the stories, the everything, the potential that it has. You know, you look at it and you love it, but then you go into the process of creating it and it's not as simple. You can't just magically will a 3D model from your head into existence, you know. Uh, somebody has to design that character and then somebody has to 3D model that character and do the rigging and do do the animating and the coloring and the lighting and it's so complicated and it's such a long and sometimes tedious process and a lot of people can't love all of that a lot of times you can't be passionate about every single part of something have you ever had that video game that you really loved and you really enjoyed playing and after a while you were like oh i should replay that game and then you go to replay it and you remember that one level that one tedious level and that just makes you feel like ah yeah, I don't really feel like replaying that game. Or you replay it, then you reach that level and you're like, okay, no, not in the mood for that. And then you just leave it be. And then you don't finish it. You don't finish the replay because it's just that one level is just so tedious. You love everything before it. You love everything after it. But there's this one two hour long level that is just boring or hard thing. And you just don't want to go through that again. Kind of the same thing with something that you love and you're passionate about. Not all of it is going to be easy. Uh, not the entire process is going to be enjoyable. You can't power through the entire process with passion. Passion is usually described as a fire in your heart, but that fire is not always burning bright. Sometimes it's just a smolder. Is it called a smolder? I don't know. Sometimes it's just under the ashes, you know, it's embers or whatever it's called. I don't fucking know. English is not my first language. Plus, you can't always be passionate about something. That's the problem with writing only when you have the muse or this great idea. It doesn't always work like that. You can't always just do something because it feels so great. Doing what you're passionate about usually feels amazing until it doesn't. And what are you gonna do then? This is why so many people give up and figure out that, hey, they're happier as a consumer of this thing because they don't have to work through the tedious parts of it. And that's not a bad thing. Not everybody has to just like every part of it. Not everybody can just power through these things. But here's the thing, you shouldn't like power through it. You know, a lot of times I think we have this over romanticized idea of what doing something and creating something is when you watch a video of someone doing digital art that's like a one minute long video or a 30 seconds long video they didn't draw that in 30 seconds but you consumed it in 30 seconds and your brain just can't comprehend that hey uh this actually might take like 10 hours you have to sit and work on this for 10 hours just so that you can make like a 30 second long video out of it and if you only love the making a video of it part then you're not gonna feel good sitting through that 10 hours of work. I believe in something like writing, this issue comes to light a lot more. I used to write every day. I would just write for at least an hour every day because it was just fun. Even if I had nothing to write, even if I didn't have any ideas for a story, I would just write about my day and the words would just come to me. But then I stopped doing that. I stopped just writing for the sake of writing something and I started writing only when I had this great, amazing, cool idea that I thought was really great and was worth putting on paper. And then I lost the ability to write freely. When you limit yourself to only doing something when you have this 
spark slowly if time passes and you don't write and you fail to just do it for the joy of it you fail to just create something looking back at the stuff i wrote when i was younger i say that as if i'm not just 21 years old a lot of my favorite things that i wrote i wrote them when i was just fucking around when i was just existing and writing for the sake of writing and i was bored and then suddenly like words came to me because that's how it works you keep creating and creating and creating and then you strike gold sometimes but when you're not just doing it you kind of miss the point of it part five or six or seven i don't know how many parts there are you were really passionate about something and then you finally came to terms with the fact that okay whatever you create the first time second third fifth twentieth time it's not gonna be good it's gonna be okay at best and that okay you wasted so much time but it's okay it's okay you can start now at least you're not gonna waste any more time but then you actually sit down and start doing it and when you actually get into the process you realize that oh shit i don't actually really like this <laughs> this is actually like not what i thought it would be what am I gonna do now? Because, you know, you spend so much time obsessing over this thing and thinking that this is what I want to do. This is where I want to be with my life. If I could just not worry about the money or my children or the fact that I don't have hands or legs, I would play piano. But then you start learning it and it's like, damn, I don't really enjoy playing the piano. So fuck am I gonna do now? I don't know. You know, sometimes you should just kind of like do it if you just kind of came to terms with it and you were like okay you know what i don't like this actually that's fine i'm just not gonna do it i don't care uh, good for you whatever but if you actually care about this and you still want to do it and it's still bugging you in the back of your mind because you had this idea or this thing that you wanted to do but you didn't because the process is tedious uh please get off your ass stop being so entitled uh, who the fuck do you think you are you think the world cares about you you think the world revolves around you no it doesn't it revolves around me the world doesn't give a heck what the fuck you want to do whether you'd like this thing or not it doesn't care it's not gonna get any better you can't just bitch about it and say oh i wanted to do it but it's so hard well boohoo you poor piece of shit kind of comes from some sort of entitlement because you thought that you were gonna be good at it at the end of the day you thought that hey you were gonna enjoy Enjoy it this was made for me i was gonna love every single part of this i was gonna rock it but no you can't fucking do that you suck and the process is gonna suck and it's gonna suck until you get better at it and you're not gonna get better until you get off your ass matter of fact if you got there and you tried it and it was tedious and now you're thinking about giving up but you kind of don't feel good about it it's because you didn't actually come to terms with the fact that it's not gonna be easy and you're gonna suck nothing in life is as good as they make it out to be nothing have you ever lost your virginity you do it and you're like that was it you know you get your first tattoo before you're like it has to be something meaningful and then you get a flower tattoo because yeah sure that has a lot of meaning and then you're no longer a tattoo virgin and you're like hey this doesn't actually matter and then you get 50 other tattoos because it doesn't matter like that was it it's just there like it's, it's, it's just gonna stay there that, that's it then you go pierce your ears and it's the same thing same case when you dye your hair it's so romanticized for us that we always think that the high is gonna be so much higher than we think we think it's gonna be amazing it's gonna solve all our problems it's gonna be so cool and it's not this is why you got so upset and ass hurt by the cyberpunk release you know you just built something up in your head and you expect it to be perfect well guess fucking what it's not nothing in life is perfect have you looked at our internal organs do they look pretty to you people talk about the miracle of birth you know what giving birth looks like it looks fucking ugly it's disgusting that's how most life is it's like when you get a pet you get a pet and you think this is gonna like be the best thing ever and then you realize that it's gonna shit everywhere nobody fucking tells you that a cat is gonna like all this shit cats shit so many fucking times nobody fucking told me that like sure they shit in their litter box so they don't have to like clean shit off the fucking ground but like that's still a lot of shit doesn't smell good and then they like randomly just bite you and you weren't even doing anything nobody talks to you about that nobody tells you when you get a pet it's gonna be noisy and it's gonna sometimes annoy you and you're gonna have to clean off their shit and sometimes they get sick and you're gonna be so stressed and then you're gonna have to just like navigate through this and it's gonna be hard sometimes you're gonna wonder hey maybe i shouldn't have gotten this because this is so much work but you know it's a pet so that's kind of fine but the fucked up part is that they do the same thing with children we have grown you have grown you not me you have grown to 
be so entitled to things feeling good for you. You just think something has to feel good. No, that's not how shit works. Sometimes you have to do something that doesn't feel good. You can't just say, it didn't make me feel good, so I didn't do it. Getting a vaccine doesn't feel good. It's a needle in your body. Who the fuck's like a needle going so far into their fucking body? Nobody. Unless you're into that kind of shit. But most people don't like it. But you have to do it. You can't just say, I don't want to get a vaccine because it doesn't feel good. So fucking do it. Every, it's the same case here. People are like, why do I have to learn math? I don't like it. It's not there for you to like it. It's there so you can learn critical thinking. It's there so you can understand that if somebody tells you that X plus Y equals B, then X minus B equals Y. You need to like kind of use that in your daily life. You may not find use for every single thing you learn in algebra. You're fine. You actually don't know some really important things. You're actually kind of behind. You should learn more. I don't fucking know. My point is that it's not, it's not that bad. It's not this incredible high that just feels so great. That might be the case for some people, but that's not the majority. For majority of people, it's like, eh, that was the thing that happened. And you can't be so entitled to it feeling good for you, because it's not gonna. Get your fucking ass up and work. Work on your passion, do it. It doesn't matter that it didn't feel good. It doesn't matter that you didn't like that two hour long level in a video game. It's a 40 hour long game. You're gonna give up on the other 38 hours because two fucking hours of it didn't feel good? Boo hoo. So yeah, that, that is the inclusion of this video, I think. Make a YouTube video and you record it four times and it doesn't have audio and all of your hard work goes to waste. Uh, boo hoo you for a piece of shit. You have to try it again. Uh, just do it. Just, just, just do it, you motherfucking piece of shit.